How did you feel you did on stage? How did I feel? Um, <laughs> that's um, yeah, that's a pretty real question. My name is Jordan Vella. I um, just completed my third contest prep um, for ICNWA. Um, this is the Natural Federation. Um, in regards to bodybuilding, um, I competed in classic physique and fitness. Um, I prepped for 23 weeks, so it was a long dieting process to get all the way down to about 6-7% body fat um, for stage and to obviously hold as much muscle as possible. I'm feeling, I feel like I'm going to get a low number. We didn't cut that low, Keith. No, I, got, I, got, I, got I got my scissors. I was about to say, how clean is the cut though? <laughs> it is clean. Handy with the scissors. When you compete like for this. the first time, you have no expectations. Um, you don't really know what the day is going to be like. You don't know what you're going to look like. You don't know how you're going to feel like on the day and feel like afterwards. Um, but when you've competed now three times, um, I had an expectation of what type of package I was going to bring to the stage. Um, I was going to have an expectation on how I was going to carve up even, how I was going to do my peak week, how I was going to feel afterwards. Um, but the one expectation that you never have is who you're going to be up against and how the day is going to pan out. Uh, I feel um, I feel probably too chill. I need to hype myself up a little bit. But um, yeah, just basically waiting now till probably around 10, and then that's when we'll start really um, shuttling food in. I tried, I tried. Um, and then trying to get dry and fill out, pump up. So probably just wait until then. Um, obviously I prepped myself, which I was probably one of the only competitors. I think I was probably the only competitor on the day that prep themselves, so support wise, um, it is very different to a lot of other people. A lot of pe other people have their main coach um, and stuff like that, but I am very lucky to have a strong support uh, crew around me. Um, my two main supporters was, um, my, was my colleague, Ryan. Oh. This, is, uh, this is the perfect pump up video. <laughs> Um, he helped me through this prep and every other prep for that matter. Um, we worked together so um, he was able to help me out um, dispersing some clients throughout the time, um, keeping me motivated. This is 100% legal. From <laughs> city to grade. <laughs> Oh yeah, bro, that, that tastes fucked. Did you chew it? No. Oh, that's the whole point of it. So it dissolves quicker. <laughs> it's been about two hours, you feel great. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah in two hours, you feel great. Will it be okay? Yeah, you need It'll still devolve, it'll yeah. just take longer, right? Yeah, yeah, it yeah, just might take a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, <I'll get> that. <laughs> Haley was a massive support, especially towards the back end of prep, um, helped me get up. Get, get my cardio done, get my steps done, and stuff like that. Um, um, she, was, she was massive and gave 100% to me and my prep. Wider. Closer. The morning, I was very, I was the calmest I've ever been. I had absolutely no nerves. Um, in my first two comps, I had heaps of nerves, but this time I had, I had zero. I was, um, I was actually almost worried that I was too relaxed. Um, and I think the reason I felt like that is because I knew that I gave my best and I was bringing my best package. Um, so I was just calm, I was focused on the boxes I needed to tick in regards to what I needed to do, in regards to food, um, pump up, what time I was on stage, my posing. I was very just focused, um, but I was also very relaxed talking to other competitors um, and just trying to enjoy every single second. The last part of it all, um, pretty much get get glazing on top of two tans. So 
that's why we're so dark and shiny on stage but um get get, get, get some glazing obviously that helps with the stage lights as well um helps helps you shine a little bit more um then once we get that on we're going to try and tighten up a little bit more get a little bit more carbs in and um hopefully come in full and dry so just gonna keep moving that's that's the key for me today is just keep moving That was, I don't think I looked at anyone, obviously. I um, have a few, had a few friends that I was up against on stage, a few good mates. Um, the other few I've seen on social media, and then there was a few that I had no idea about. Um, I had an understanding of what they were going to look like, but I don't think I looked around backstage at all. Um, even in the backstage area where we, where we all go together in the small, um, that small little square and we start pumping up, I think the only person I looked at was Ryan. I was just watching him pumping up, seeing his reaction, going, yep, you're looking better, you're looking better, keep going. The only thing I was worried about, even backstage, I think the only thing, only thing I was looking at was the ground when I was doing push-ups slash raises. I was, I was pumping up. I was looking at the ground. I was looking out to the stage, because obviously we can see the stage from backstage. I was just looking at that line that I needed to walk up to and hit that pose at. Um, I didn't look at any of the competitors at all. Um, that's... That's one thing that I've always been strong on is I'm there for me, so. I knew it wasn't going well um, within the first probably 30 seconds of being on stage for that first time. And then the rest, the rest was history, it was all downhill from there. That first 30 seconds, none of the judges looked at me. Um, and then when they started shuffling us around, I still stayed on the end, stayed on that far left end, and I knew what was happening. Um, none of the judges, um, even blinked an eye. I think one of the judges, um, he, you know, he looked at me, said something to one of the other judges, but other than that, I'll, I didn't get looked at, um, so I knew that it was, I knew how it was probably gonna end, um, which is very hard when you're trying to pose nice and hard, have a big smile for the crowd. And relax, and be the side, the side tries it. Um, and act like you're having the greatest time of your life, when you know what's going to happen, you know that you're not going to be on that podium. Fifth place, 50, Jordan Bella. I wasn't shocked because the lineup was amazing, um, but I did think that I was, I did think I was better than, than coming last, but that, um, wasn't anything to do with any of the other competitors on stage because they looked amazing. I just thought this package was was going to be able to achieve something this year. But yeah, I think I looked to the ceiling, the bright lights, um, and I actually didn't. Um, I think I, I'm pretty sure I took my medal straight off when they gave it to me and they took a photo. I walked. To, I think I took it off before I even got backstage. Um, and that wasn't bad sportsmanship in any way. That was just disappointment within myself. Everything was it for within myself, the way I uh, reacted and was upset. So yeah, it was tough, tough feeling. Did you do a lap? Yeah. You on the other side? I tried to like look here, look here. I was like, what? Um, on the other side? Having people there, um, just to literally wrap your arms around you, like, and your family. Yeah. How did how did that make you feel after that? Oh, so much better because no matter what happened on that stage, I knew that I had them. Um, Haley, Johnny, my family. Um, I saw my, my sister, and my cousin came. Um, a few of my friends, um, Eddie, Henry. Like, no matter what happened on that stage, I walked off and they were there, no matter what, and um, it was massive. Oh, 
for now. But I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> what the fuck? What do I, want to say I just I just came fucking first. I don't give a fuck. I just came first. Okay, well, what? How do you keep that a secret, though? <laughs> How the fuck? Did you see me? You were pointing out in the crowd, and I was like. I'm sorry that I did not do it oh, for you. No, 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 we did. Oh. You did well. You did oh, it is, it is, man. It was, it was tough competition. You go. I just, I just tried to play in between the game, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I was game to try competition. came up with a really good package, to be honest. Just finished the end of the night. We'll, we'll go get a good feed. The sun comes up in the morning. You're still doing what you love. Like, that's all that means. Um, means everything to me. So it, it was definitely, um, definitely a really good feeling to have them there. Uh, I'd be so upset right now. Well done. Oh man. That was, that was easily the toughest start. Yeah. So, next one. Round up. Looking up. Good. Jordan down. Jordan down. Definitely, I wasn't happy. Um, to be completely honest, um, I had a high, high expectation um, of what I was going to bring this year, and I was very confident with um, the package that I was bringing. Um, and I felt like I did everything I needed to to be on stage, and that's that's the feeling. That was the good feeling to come out of it. But obviously, um, not placing very well or not placing at all literally came last in every division besides one. Um, it was hard to digest. Um, and obviously I've been around the sport for a long time now. I've competed three times. I've also prepped a lot of people. I've been to a lot of shows in the last probably four or five years. Um, but nothing can, can uh, prepare you for that feeling of doing a 20, 23 week prep um, to hop off stage to come last. No, nothing can, nothing can um, prepare you for that feeling. And as much as I am such a positive, um, outgoing, you know, self-motivated person, um, that was really hard for me to deal with. Yeah, I kind of just want to hear. I can't really fucking know what I'm saying here. No. Just finish it off. Finish it off. Just finish it off from. Yeah. I just do. Keep me, I'll keep my mind off it for a little bit and then we'll crush it tonight. If I can come in tight tonight, who knows what can happen. Um, Ryan Moore taught me things mentally. Um, on the weekend than anything else. He taught me to stay strong. Um, a big thing that I'll always remem remember from the weekend was after that first time on stage, I came back and I just sat against the wall, just like staring at the roof. And he comes to me and he goes, um, this is not you. You know what? Yeah, I've got a better package. So you're better than this. This is not you. You don't just throw, you don't, this is not you, just throw this off just after one happens. So don't do this, alright? Wait, wait, up. Do not fucking shoot the tip. Um, he goes, this is, this is not the Jordan that I know. Um, and he was so right, That's, it wasn't me to get upset on how I placed. Um, and I'll never forget that because for the rest of the day, the only thing that was playing through my head, even when I was on stage and I was going to get caught out dead last again, was Ryan telling me, this is not you. Um, and that really pushed me through the day. My focus right now is, is my business. My business and the people around me. Um, giving back to them that I couldn't give um, the time to during prep. And same with my uh, business and work. So giving back to um, to the gym that I work for, um, giving my everything in the role that I play here, um, getting some more bread items out, um, starting getting back on the social media. That's taken a hit. Um, getting my coaching back up and going. Um, I've had to put some a lot of clients on break. So it's the focus is getting back all that back up and going. Um, that's why I do this. Um, I don't say to anyone that I'm a bodybuilder or I'm a competitor. Um, I'm someone who wants to impact people through my work. So it's to give that 100% um, 
in regards to competing, who knows? Who knows? Um, that's a question that will probably haunt me for a while, but um, I will take the judges' feedback when I get it later this week. I will reassess what I need to work on, whether that's stepping on stage again or not. I will still be focused on working on those areas. Um, that's just the way I am. I'll keep trying to um, chase that better physique and uh, whether that's stepping on stage or not, we'll see how we go. Walking back to the elevator after and you're going home. I know like you've dealt with quite a bit of like horrible stuff on Instagram, like getting yeah. messages and stuff like that. Does that maybe kind of come into your head a bit after? Um, sort of like second guessing yourself or thinking about what people are going to say now that maybe you didn't do it yeah. well? Yeah, or... yeah, yeah. Um, so happy you asked that question, 100%. That's um, it wasn't what I expected. Um, I, had, I received those messages late, late on Saturday night. So this was after I spent some time with my friends and I got home and I was ready to go to bed. And then I read um, three really like hurtful messages that were quite specific to how I placed on the day and stuff like that. And um, I'm still mentally trying to deal with that now, knowing that there was people out in that crowd that probably um, got satisfaction about seeing me not place. Um, and it definitely, it definitely hurt me for a day or so, but I'm coming to the terms of, of the fact that I gave, gave it my all and um, those comments, you know, they're gonna come from insecurities from these people that probably can't do what I just did. Um, so I'm gonna get mentally stronger from it. Um, I'm kind of glad that I went through that now. Um, I'm very lucky to deal with a lot of support, but I've never really dealt with a lot of uh, negative comments and haters, so this is a learning curve for me going forward. It's only probably gonna get worse as time goes on, but that means that I'm probably making a better, better impact in the world. The more haters I've got, probably the better, better impact that I'm giving. So yeah, it was tough to deal with. Um, it was tough to know that some people were probably enjoying the fact that I didn't place um, and relishing off that. And that, that, that will make it tough next time if I do step on stage. I'm probably going to have them play in the back of my mind, but um, I can also use use it to fuel the fire as well. So, what's the biggest thing you've learned about this whole experience? What's what's something that you've taken away that makes you a better person, more stronger person in this, in this thing? What the you biggest learned? thing is that um, happiness and fulfillment is not necessarily in any place or in, at any time. It's something that needs to be. Um, built on um, forever. It's the fulfillment um, of get of finishing a stepping off stage is never what you expect it to be. You expect that um, your happiness and fulfillment is all down to that one day, but in fact, it's something that's built up over a period of time. You get happiness and fulfillment from all the work that you put in. Um, to continue the, to impact people. That's where my happiness and fulfillment is. It isn't um, winning titles or being the best. Um, so one thing I've learned is that it's um, you're gonna have di you're gonna have rises and um, dips in in how you're feeling, but your happ happiness and fulfillment comes from a much larger um, a much larger thing than one specific time. Alright, I think we'll, we should be good with that. I reckon. I reckon that's good, man. You asked some good questions. Let me just quickly take a photo. That's gonna be fucking so hard to edit. I don't know how you do this. Ah. Like, trying to, like.